There's just like a group of people like yelling like, here, here, throw it here. And the guy looked at me and threw it and I caught it over a kid who was like eight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, buddy! just saying I'm back and I was trying to set up this exciting first segment we have and then you came in <laughs> with all Marvel all the time <laughs> just oh my word okay so we're gonna start this one off really quick I think just a heads up before this starts this is gonna be one of our best episodes there's gonna be a lot happening so try to keep up but I don't know what I get still Parker's know what's going confused on. let me try to set this up for him I'll nope, set the yet, stage here yeah, yeah okay you can't say it. we gotta show him I'm gonna him. set the stage well, show me what two weeks ago <laughs> no 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 I feel like we have to show him before you say anything. Well, I'm not I'm not gonna set up that much. I'll leave show a little bit of suspense. What? Okay, Luke, could you hold up the bag you have here? Let's set it up that way. Luke is holding a bag of Chick-fil-A. In front which, of Owen's face. As we all know, Chick-fil-A is the best. Parker, if you could describe Chick-fil-A, would you describe it as like the best food you've ever had? No. How often would you say you have Chick-fil-A? I'd say approximately two and a half times a week. Yeah, Parker loves Chick-fil-A. Um, and two weeks ago, we discovered that Parker has never had soup before. <gasps> Turns out Chick-fil-A oh. has chicken oh. noodle soup. And oh, you might man. be thinking, Parker says some ridiculous stuff, right? He was probably just joking about never having had soup before. His mother confirmed <laughs> that he has never had soup before. No, I've never had so soup. So we know that it's true. Please try not to spill it all oh, over this man. table. Parker is going to eat and react to... Chick-fil-A, his favorite restaurants, chicken noodle soup. I will be straight up with you guys as a Chick-fil-A employee. I have never had their soup. I would be willing to try it. It smells very it delicious. It smells great. Parker takes a snit. Let's let's just clear out. There's gonna be a few seconds of silence here as Parker eats the soup and oh, then just give us your reaction. This is Parker's reaction. first ever bite of soup. He some literally is just taking there. a piece of. You gotta get some chicken, some noodle. Okay, he literally just bit the chicken. Okay, now get some noodle. You gotta in get it some too. noodle. And it some looks broth. like there's a little bit of peas. And, and maybe some celery. carrot, celery. Oh, celery, yeah. And then carrots. Get some broth and noodle. Yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's, That's a, good a scoop. bite of soup right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. You got this. You got this, Parker. It's okay. Hey! <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay. Are you gonna finish the whole thing? Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. Cause I'll have a couple. Is more it bites. okay enough? It's to eat more. It's of it. not like bad. Mm. It's just like. A little runny, you know. That's mm. that's because it's soup. It's yeah. supposed to be. He liquidy. did say he prefers stew. <laughs> it is more solid than soup, so valid. Have you had stew before? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I do like the chicken though. Where did shocker? It's Chick Fil A chicken. Yep. Mm. That does tend to happen. It's mm. literally they just take chicken and they take chicken that we've made and okay. grind it up into shredded yeah. chicken. It is. It's decent. It's decent. So not really the payoff we were hoping for. I was hoping he'd either like hate it or love it. <laughs> no, it's just okay, you know? So, just okay is yeah. not okay. Go, turn uh, to Geico. What? We'll, we'll put the lid okay. back on. Yeah. Just Later sure on, we don't I'll have, have any a spoon and I want to try some. Spillage. There we go. Yeah, we'll just, we'll place this off. Yeah, I thought it was okay. Over here. I mean, it was yeah. probably the best soup that there is, to be honest. Did it? If it was any other was, soup, I wouldn't like it. <laughs> okay. Was it a good temperature? Like you were still... Oh yeah, my mouth feels from nice. From you guys driving over here with it? Okay. My my mouth cool. feels nice and comfy. Wait, so did we not actually get real Chick-fil-A? No, I have real Chick-fil-A. Oh. We'll eat that after the episode. That is real Chick-fil-A, Parker. Come on. I, I, I have real, No, I mean, I I mean like my normal order. I have chicken nuggets for you. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, man. So we just made history. Parker, it took him 17 plus <laughs> years, but finally. We made history. He had soup. On the podcast. And it was history. recorded. Yep. So that's great. Um, another new thing we have this week, <laughs> we're gonna jump right into it, is a new segment. Um, it was accidentally created in a, uh, like, sketch that my younger brother Ethan and I did that we posted on the podcast, making fun of, um, I'm sure you guys watched it, uh, making basically. Making fun of, in, yeah, yeah, making fun of, um. Yeah, in sports media, producers. Like all these generic lines. Uh -huh, yeah. Producers only can come up with one type of game, and it's basically, like, I'm gonna say something, and then you say yes or no to it, and then that's and then they try to get creative with it, and we basically created a list of like random things that you could 
say to create more creative versions of those games. And one of those, um, when the producer wanted a game for a slightly dumber audience, one of the characters suggested, "Uh uh-huh or not uh And we were like, you know what? That's actually, that might be pretty fun. So the way we're going to do headlines this week is I'm going to read a headline, Uh and then I'm going to ask a question, and then Parker and Luke, if they agree Uh with what I asked or said, will say, "Uh uh-huh. You have to say it as annoying as possible. Or if they disagree, they have to say, nah, uh. Like, like, so, a, like an annoying young, younger yes, sister. Yes, that is the point. It's okay. to sound as annoying as possible. I like how you specifically said annoying younger sister, <laughs> not younger sibling. Well, neither of us have younger sisters. <laughs> no, I know, but he was... Yeah, I know. Yeah, but, you could have just said younger sibling, yeah. but it seemed like he intentionally said <laughs> well, younger I have sister personal to like, take a shot. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> First headline, <laughs> Damien Lillard... Uh, there have been some alleged trade requests, although he and Josef Nurkic have denied them. So, will Damian Lillard be traded this offseason? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, and that's it. Uh, Space Jam 2 <laughs> is out now, featuring LeBron James, obviously. Will Space Jam 2 be better than the original Space Jam? Nah, uh I haven't seen either. Nah. You haven't seen the original Space Jam? No. No, I will. I He's to... always making fun of me for not watching movies, and you haven't seen Space Jam. <laughs> Has Luke seen Space Jam? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh man. Wow. You can't make fun of me for not having watched classic movies if you haven't watched Space Jam. I, I don't. It's been a very mucho does, long does time, that, but I've seen Michael it. Michael Jordan supporter and no, a basketball does, fan. Does, How have you not watched? Does Space that Jam? make me even more of a Michael Jordan supporter since I still think he's the best without watching Space Jam? No. What? <laughs> well, that was a twist. We're finding out all sorts of things Parker's never done. Do we have to go get Space Jam from Chick Fil A? I guess. <laughs> can we right. play can we, Jam? Can we rent it on like? You probably can. Disney. I Plus. think that's how I watched it. We'll have to do that. We'll make that like a YouTube video. That might we, have to be. We gotta go golfing and then watch Space Jam. <laughs> and then they do a cooking contest. Oh my <laughs> word! So much is happening. Disclaimer to, uh, not really a disclaimer, but just like a little ad for ourselves. We have a bonus content <laughs> on our website. I just take it when I can get it. Shameless plug. Disclaimer, uh, not really a disclaimer. It's not a ad disclaimer. for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> we have bonus content on our website. Uh-huh. And we should probably put Parker's reaction to Space Jam as a bonus content video. Oh, yeah. Just like we have a video of me reacting to Guardians of the well, Galaxy. We still need to get those It's up not there. on there yet because Parker's Got in charge it. of editing those. But do you see how many but clips you sent me there? It's a lot. Like Infinity. It's a lot. Infinity no, it was War. like 50. <laughs> yes. It's a lot. Ben Simmons. That concludes this disclaimer ad for ourselves. Ben Simmons' trade talks are open. The Sixers are discussing trading him. Question is will Ben Simmons be traded? This off season, nah, uh, really? I think okay. I think that I think I want him to get traded. I do. I do. I I don't like him anymore. You know his jersey. I you uh, you can have it. Just give me like two cents for it. I will do that because that's all it's worth now. Okay. And actually, I'll pay you to have the jersey. Sure. I, I, I I'll take it, it off your hands. Need it out of my house. It'll be a little big, but I'll take it. <laughs> um. Anyway, so I want him to get traded, uh-huh. right? But I don't think he's going to just because his stock is super low and they're not going to get what they want in return. They want like an all-star in return and they're not going to get yeah. one. So I, I, I was kind of thinking along the same lines how like, well, I don't know a lot of stuff. He's not good enough to be traded right <gasps> you now. You know what's coming up soon? You know, Hawkeye? we got, no, no, you know, we got to start yes, but... focusing on fantasy football, defending oh, yeah. my oh, throne. Right. It's coming up. You just wanted to bring that up so you could remind people you won the championship. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I won last year. I will that win again. That is coming up. August will be very fantasy when, football heavy. When are yes. we, uh, when are we, uh, you know, having doing our draft? Yeah, okay. um, normally it's late August. It's like a week or two before school starts. So but school I do... starts the 20 something. 24. 24. Yeah. So. so we could do it like, I don't know, like the 29th. Um, we probably could. It's yeah, whenever the Saturday Saturday or Sunday. That's a Sunday. Yeah. I work on the 28th, and it's like all day, though. You know your schedule that far? That's impressive. Yeah, I know my schedule all the way out through September for, wow. for catering. I don't know why. Good they for just, you. They send me this. Oh, it's them. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why are Parker being proactive? <laughs> no, nah, they just send it to me. Well, and I have to say yes or no. Ah, I can work okay. then. So yeah. then I know. And you're like, no, actually, I had very specific plans two months from now. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, seriously. That seems pretty That's, easy. Yeah. It's terrible. It's like, well, I'm pretty sure I can work that. They gra- they grab you first, That's and then nice. and then yeah, and then you have you have to say no to other things, which is disappointing. So That's how have, they get you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you guys both don't think Ben Simmons will be traded? Wow, interesting. The USA men's basketball team has lost two exhibition games already after having only lost two it. in I, like thirty okay, years. Okay, I'm a pro on this subject. I watched a YouTube video about it. The answer oh, is wow. uh huh or nah. Oh. There is no uh, elaborate. I didn't even Wait, ask. What the, is, uh-huh. I, didn't, nah. I didn't even ask the question yet, so you don't what, know. What is your question? Will they still win the gold medal? Uh. Nah. Nah. Mm. This is no. this is actually a tough question. This is nah. I'm gonna say nah. Really? Nuh-uh. Yes. Okay. Two exhibition games right, have made you guys my, lose faith in no, them. No, no. Here's my reasoning. Wow. Um. Basically, what I'm seeing. And what this YouTube video has taught me uh-huh. is that there's other countries that have more resources and they're putting it towards basketball. Uh-huh. Nigeria in 2012, we beat Nigeria by 83 points. Uh-huh. In <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> really? It 100, was bad. 156 to 73. Oh my gosh. 150... In the Olympics. Like, yeah. This is this like a regulation like no, time. No, this is a real regulation game. time yep. game. Like yes. just the Olympic quarters. official Olympic game. Yeah. 156 to 73. Yes. <laughs> okay. 2016, we beat them by like 42. Uh huh. They just beat us by three. <laughs> they just beat. The USA. world is catching up. The world is catching up. But this is the U.S. Do you see the, yes, chi- the like, Chinese girl who's seven five and she's 14 years old? That was what? Insane, yeah. She's seven like, no, five Yao, and Yao she's Ming at four- age 14. Was it? Is it Yao Ming's like son? A daughter. Oh, it's a daughter. She's, yeah, she's gonna absolutely. De- if she makes it to the WNBA, I mean, what she could probably play in the WNBA now. What, no, it, what, how, just how, tower over like, people. What's the average height in the WNBA? Probably like, like six like two, six, six three, like six one, six one. So like six, me two. and Parker, she height. wouldn't have to jump to beat them to a jump ball. <laughs> I know. Like in the WNBA, it's it was ridiculous. That's crazy. That like, is insane. It's insane. If Team USA added her, would they win gold? Oh yes. yes. <laughs> no, not yes. Oh, uh-huh. 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 there you uh-huh. go. Much better. All right, last question. I didn't even get to why they're gonna lose. That's okay. Oh, why it's are they not, gonna it's lose? Not, I just said that they lost to Nigeria. Why are they gonna <laughs> lose? <laughs> because the referees no. in the Olympics are no because don't call as many no, fouls as play, the real NBA. Play. They don't have as much. Like it's like every game they're playing for their country, so there's more pride involved, and mm. it's more like playoff atmosphere, which is how it is overseas in other leagues. In the like Luca said it himself. It's it was easier for him to score in the NBA than it was for him to score in Europe. Oh yeah, so, I was I never knew that there was such a difference between officiating in the Olympics and in mm-hmm. the NBA. I just learned that recently well, that they the, NBA the way they call weak. fouls is way different. Yeah, it's it's weak in like, the NBA. The Olympics yes. is almost like street ball a little bit. Like, it's, the Olympics make compared sense. to the NBA. Yes, yeah. in Michael Jordan's yeah. time. Oh my word, we're gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> you can't say that if you haven't watched Space Jam. How would you know? <laughs> I watched Bugs Bunny just destroy people. I know what happens. What? Isn't that what Space Jam's about? Like, Tell me what you think happens in Space Jam. <laughs> like LeBron and describe, Bugs Bunny just... No, in, in the original Space Jam, describe to me what you think the plot is. Oh, oh. I met Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, he loses his somebody in his, and he gets mad, right? And then Bugs Bunny <laughs> and him team up. How? Um, How would they team up? Because just there's like a, appears? A, a, the multiverse. Okay. <laughs> they meet up together, uh-huh. and then they beat... Does Jordan recruit Bugs Bunny to help him? No, no, Bugs Bunny recruits him. Oh, to get... what well, Bugs Bunny recruits Michael Jordan to get what Michael Jordan lost? <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay. And then they end Just up defeating the evil ears. power. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. They defeat Sorry, the evil power, and I, I read, the world is saved. Right. Sounds about not f- quite. No. We'll okay. just have to. We'll have to watch the movie with you. Last question: The Philadelphia Phillies went into the All Star break on a hot streak, won seven out of ten. They are going into the second half at five hundred. Will the Philadelphia Phillies make the playoffs? Uh huh. No. Uh huh. No. Uh huh. No. Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They've been uh-huh. obviously they were pretty. They were on a hot streak. They were doing really well. As as long as this All Star break didn't mess up their momentum, but, I think they're gonna see a better second half Luke, of the season. Will they make the Shohei playoffs? Otani. Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani is totally in the different AL. division. Also, the Angels probably aren't gonna make the playoffs. No. Shohei Otani. That's not. That doesn't affect the Just, Phillies in any way. That's it. Shohei Otani. Mm. Good for him. 
that doesn't what affect does that, the Phillies that, at that all. Is, that is, I don't think they even play the Angels. No. Yeah. Baseball is just summarized by that right there. Shohei Otani. But yeah, but that's... Yeah, but that doesn't affect not. the Phillies. Yeah. It affects all. Baseball equals Otani. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. But, I mean... Uh-huh. They're amazing yeah. playoffs. Yeah. Will they go I, far? No. I would agree with you. Make... I think the Phillies... Yeah. I agree with that as well. I think the Phillies will make the playoffs... The only way for the Phillies to make the playoffs really is to win the division. They're not going to get the wild card because the yeah. Padres or Giants or Dodgers have that locked well, up. No, two out of those three. They have a chance to catch up to the Braves. They can win the or multiplication. The Mets, sorry, the Mets. Hmm? They can win the multiplication. What does that mean? Well, even if they lose the division, there's still oh my a, word. <laughs> there's still the chance That's that they so can win. So bad, it. Parker. If they win the multiplication, you know, the greater the number, the better it is. Jeez. You might, they might sneak into the That's playoffs. one of your worst jokes ever. <laughs> that yes! Is so bad. Goodbye. <laughs> so the NL East is a terrible division. The Phillies are in Parker, second you don't place. Get your Chick Fil A now. No. Oh wow, no. a threat. Hey, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> I just look under there, just see Owen's oh, bare feet. Don't show that to the camera. Sorry for <laughs> having my feet on the ground. <laughs> he said that like it was my fault. Yeah, Come Owen. On, Owen. Owen. Oh, my word. The Phillies, I agree with Luke. The two people who think the Phillies will make the playoffs are wearing Phillies shirts. We're not biased at all. Well, um, I'm... I go, have two... Go Phillies! I have two I'm reasons. Property of hey, the Phillies. I'm their the slave, so oh, I have geez. to say it. I have two reasons. Both of them do have nothing to do with the Phillies themselves. One, the division that they're in is weak. The Braves are only a game behind them, but Ronald Acuna Jr. just got hurt. I think the Braves will start to decline. ACL. Yeah. Why are you holding your water bottle behind me, Parker? Mm -mm. Two, what are the we, Phillies have is that an extra games behind the Mets. Or less? Three games. Three. Oh, we caught up. Yeah. Three games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we were made seven up games. Ground. We made we up a lot of ground. Up a lot. Yeah. But you're forgetting. Yeah, and then Pete, Alonso, Jacob. Okay. Degrom. Yeah, that's Jacob Degrom is really good. But we have Zach <laughs> no, Wheeler. No, he's not good. Who used to be on the Zach Mets. Wheeler is way better than Degrom. Like Degrom, his ERA is like just absolutely terrible. This isn't golf, guys. This is baseball. Lowest okay. score doesn't win. Anyway. Um, the other reason <laughs> the does. is that their schedule the rest of the way is insanely easy. They have one West Coast trip, and it's two games long. And then everything else is very easy. Um, basically, their hardest games are in division, which isn't really that bad because you want to make up games on the Mets and whatnot. Although, I will say in the next two weeks... Is the next two weeks are basically going to decide their season because the trade deadline is coming up. The trade deadline is so fun. Love the trade deadline. Parker probably doesn't care as much. Oh, I love no. I, I love like, the trade deadline Russell in baseball. Wilson, it's he so might get fun. traded soon. No, in in baseball, it's oh. fun because it's like the middle of the season. Teams are making mm -hmm. deals. One move can make a team so much better. It's really exciting to have that in the middle of the season. Oh, like if the like Phillies, the Rays. like the Rays, yeah. they did that. Uh huh. Sure. The Rays do do pretty well at the deadline. Yeah, but I know. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. I actually knew that. If the Phillies play well these next two weeks against, I think they play Braves, Marlins, Mets, and then maybe Marlins again. They play pretty much all divisional teams the next two weeks. If they do well, they'll probably pick up some relievers because they'll be feeling good. They're like, okay, we can add some people, and that'll be enough. If they do bad this week, they're probably out of it because that means the Mets will pull yeah. away. Wait, yeah. what if they So do... the next two weeks could define the whole what season. What does the Mets schedule What if they like? do tap? I don't know. What if they do tap? Yeah, instead of doing well. You are not feeling great today, man. Jeez. All right, now it's time to do the most exciting part of the podcast, Mets schedule talk. We're going to go game by game and talk about the Mets. We don't need to do what? that. I Why? just want to see who they're playing <laughs> to see if they're playing good or I bad I thought you were being well, serious. Shockingly, the reason the Phillies have made up some ground in the last week on the Mets is because the Mets have been playing the Pirates, and the Pirates suck. The Pirates are terrible. But I think the Mets have lost, like, three out of five games against the Pirates, which is surprising. Hey, I saw a Pirates um, stadium. I, I, PNC I, Park? Yeah, I saw it. It's nice. I went to a game Wait, there. Wait, is PNC? No, PNC? it's Heinz. No, no that's PNC. the Steelers. It's, oh. PNC. it's PNC? Okay. Well, I saw it. Um, yeah, Pirates have a great stadium, and but their team is awful. It looked cool. Right now. It looked cool, but... I went to a game there one year. I only know Ooh. about Sidney Crosby. That, okay. Why is it not like I click on that? It's like the Mets schedule. It's just taking you in a circle. <laughs> well, my computer has been weird. I have to fix it. It's like it defaults to Yahoo all what? the time. That's yeah, disgusting. look, it's the most frustrating thing ever. 
Then, I set. Um, I went to settings. I set the default wait, to Google. Wait, but this is an Apple. Okay. And they play. I know. That's why it's weird. They play the Reds, the Blue Jays. Instead the of the Braves. Mets, we should talk about. They the play Mets. a lot against the Braves, and the Reds. The Reds. Okay, a so lot we of Reds. we are big Reds fans. They have two series. The Mets have, and then they play us. Wait, the Mets have two series against the Reds. Is we that want why you're the, Reds the Reds to shows? win. Yep, yeah. that's why. Yeah, I thought we were the, Phillies the fans. because we're big Reds. Aren't we going fans, to a Phillies game though? Why? Well, that I was gonna wait Parker, do you for have that for shirts? another time, but oh. <laughs> you might Whoops. have to lend. Do you have multiple Philly shirts? Yeah, you I might need have to Philly lend Parker shirts. one of you. I have. I'll wear the one with Harper on the back. He can wear the one that just says we Phillies can twin. on the front. Yes. There you go. I think my dad has a holiday. Shirt. What if I wore? Ooh. No, no. Wouldn't it be really jersey, funny I if say. I just wore a Sixers jersey? I mean, you could. Or would that or just maybe not work? I don't know if it'd be hilarious, <laughs> but you could. Like, would people still like me, or would they get mad? Oh, at yeah, me? you'd be fine. Okay. Oh, wait, fine. if you wore a Sixers jersey? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, you'd be fine. Yeah. Okay. Nobody would get mad at you. As okay. long as you don't wear a different team. Yeah. Like, but can I just put the name of, like, Harper on the back? Well, kind of like what I did with the weird. Sox. If you want to. Yeah, you could do, you could wear your Embiid jersey, put a plus sign, like, Luke turned his Wentz jersey into a Hertz one by putting like one plus one. Wait, is his name five? Embiid, Wait, no, Embiid. You could do two plus one, yeah, which equals three, three, and then put Harper. Three. Yes, I, I want to do, do that. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to a Phillies game. Don't know what content we're going to turn that into, but probably a lot. Some of it bonus content, some of it regular, YouTube. accessible to everybody content. Um, so yeah, that is late July that we are going to a Phillies that'll game. That'll be fun. July what twenty eighth. Yeah. I have an update. I don't. I, was, I have, um... I was away. Bubbles. I have Chick-fil-A. Okay. <laughs> I was on vacation. This is a new segment I, that we like to call... I have. I have. have. <laughs> where you just clap and then clasp your fingers and then say a statement about yourself. Okay. I... Okay, let's let Owen talk. I have a hand. Yes, I... Hands. Okay, Parker. have a phone. I'm getting pretty annoyed by Parker right now. <laughs> I okay. have an update. Two weeks ago, this is two episodes ago, uh, episode 107 was pretty big. We found out that Parker had never had soup, and I discussed how sometimes music sounds, the same song will sound slightly faster or slower to me. Yeah. Parker thought and, I was insane. <laughs> I said and you I should do research. Did you do research? I did research. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First of all, I asked around. The only other person I asked who did experience this is my younger brother. So, so I only have... It's genetic. Well, nobody else <laughs> in my family experienced it. Wait, which younger brother? Ethan. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. So, and Ethan's I, got an ear for music. He does, yes, that's true. Ethan is the most musically talented in our family, and he's noticed this. So I'm not... That made me feel a little bit better, but still, it was just him. So I didn't have many allies. Did some research. Luke, first of all, before I say this, have you ever experienced this, or did you listen to that episode and also think I was crazy? I thought you were pretty crazy. Okay, yeah. The only so, time I notice that a song seems faster is when it's like a remix or late night version, mm. where they purposely make it faster to make it yeah. like more hype and upbeat. Yes. Mine, if you didn't listen to that episode, is basically, this is not normal. Most, 95% of the time when I listen to a song, it sounds the same speed. But ever so slightly different on random occasions paranoia it's slightly slower or slightly faster <laughs> and it's like my brain is just processing it differently so or, getting or, in your head. yeah or oh, you're just word. enchanted okay by sylvie <laughs> oh or okay. loki because he knows how no, to do it or now. you think this phenomenon is happening therefore you tricked your brain into thinking that it's or the happening. old fat loki is getting in your head yeah you should watch out for boastful loki what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> Crocodile Loki. <laughs> Out of your hands. King Kid Loki. <laughs> anyway, keep going. Wow. <laughs> um, so, I did some research on this, and my original theory was that after I had been like doing something where my brain was working really hard, mm -hmm. the song would sound slower because my brain was working really fast, and so it's able to process more quickly, so the song therefore sounds slower. And then vice versa, if my brain wasn't working hard, it would sound a little faster because it was behind. Yeah. Did some research. It turns out it's not directly related to your brain, but I was pretty close. It is related to what you were doing before. If your heart rate is higher, uh -huh. the tempo of the song will sound, seem a little bit slower. Because your body is used to feeling your heartbeat at whatever rate so it's it at. So do with like vibrational frequencies basically so yeah. we're talking about so the, the heart rate if your heart rate you can think of as like your body's tempo mm -hmm. and then the music's tempo 
it will seem a little bit slower because your heart is going faster than normal. And then if your heart rate is a little bit slower than normal, the music will seem slightly faster. So if you're working so out... So I was right, So if kind you're of. working out, music seems faster. No. If you're working oh, out... Oh, slower, I meant slower. Yeah, if you're working out, the music will seem a little bit slower. Well, I that doesn't happen to me, so... <laughs> That's very interesting. I never realized that. So I think my body just knows my heart rate so well that it just it just isn't even there. Therefore, the music always sounds the same. Oh, okay. What's the, oh, it what's did next? also say that music will seem a little bit faster when it's in like the background and you're not entirely focusing on it. Yeah, that's so what maybe I, it's a combination of like you're thinking about something else, so it's in the mm. background, so it might mm. kind of like offset. So maybe it's more like after the workout, your heart rate is still up. If you were to just like sit down and listen to music and like really, you guys should try that. Just like focus on it and see if it happens. Let's conduct an environmental design. Yes, science Let's fair. figure out what's next. Okay, I'm just happy that I was right. I'm not totally insane. Well. You're never right. But, whoa. You can't kidding. really trust the internet, so. Yeah, the internet's bad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. It's time for this week's Atlantic League update. And you guys did a pretty good job with this last week. I was impressed. We will get to a very quick breakdown of last week's episode, Parker and Luke solo. The standings are pretty much the same. The Long Island Ducks have a two and a half game lead over the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. The Barnstormers are a game under 500. They're three and a half back. And the York Revolution, who we all thought would be the best in the North, are 20 and 25 dead last. They've lost their last two. Um, I and have then, a theory about that. Oh, about the York Revolution? Yeah. So obviously with their name, you can tell they're trying to revolutionize baseball. But baseball is so stuck in their ways that they, and they don't want to change, don't like change, that they are purposely making the York Revolution lose. Yeah, how many rule changes there have been in baseball in the last couple of years? Specifically the Atlantic League, who is they have literally... so many rules. The Atlantic League specifically is like the testing ground for baseball. Yeah. They have the electronic strike zone right now. They've, they, I, I they, saw that it like malfunctioned or didn't it work. It did malfunction in the summer's game. Like what? It was bad. Is this like, I thought this was, like how is this not? I don't know how it malfunctions. We, we can go, we can go to work? the moon or something. We can go into space, but we don't know how to get a strike zone right. Like that's the yep, easiest thing in the world. Yeah. TV broadcasts could, can keep it on for, I could do forever. That. I could design one. And you could literally just get a wiffle ball thing. You, you made one for your birthday. <laughs> Baseball should have that. Have a super durable <laughs> wiffle ball. You can have a lighter material. Baseball, the strike zones would get destroyed. Just metal. Just like steel. Crushing it. But yeah, they should have that. Like That'd be the, so much better. The ball would just bounce right back. Sure, out to would the, the catching position be eliminated? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> but other than that, but that eliminates so much other stuff. That eliminates plays at home. That eliminates stolen bases. Oh, so the catcher would still be there. The catcher would be there yeah, to pick up the ball if the runner tries to steal home. <laughs> <laughs> the catcher would be more of like a jogger that just jogs out after the the ball hits the bag. It'd be so much better for your knees. You could just sit on like a bucket. <laughs> yeah, you just <laughs> and just wait. <laughs> We once again we revolutionize. Parker is just killing Parker. it with these baseball ideas. Oh man! Wow! Like, why doesn't the MLB sign me right now? Oh man! Just Probably because you would charge too much. A two-way contract. The Lexing That's not what that is. <laughs> the Lexington <laughs> Legends continue to dominate in the South. They're twenty-eight. They're dominating and the league. Uh, actually, the Long Island Ducks are catching up to them. Yeah. They're only four games back of them if they were in the same division. But yeah, the Lexington Legends shockingly have been really good. Um, High Point Rockers, same record as the Barnstormers, one game under Dude, 500. Gastonia and Honey Hunters are no longer in last. I mean, it's improvement. I thought the Gastonia Honey Hunters would win the South, um, but, you know, baby steps. They moved up from last to third. Uh, the West Virginia Power, having lost their last five in a row. That right there is a losing to last. streak five I've ever seen. That is a losing streak. High Point Rockers <laughs> are on a nice little streak right now. High Point now. Rockers have won four in a row, as have the Long Island Ducks. So, the Atlantic League, we gotta go to, we're going to a Phillies game, we also have to go to a Barnstormers game. That one I feel like will be a little easier, just as it's not as far away and not as expensive. Yeah. Way easier. Oh, yeah. Um, we definitely have to do that. We get box seats, though, that's awesome. That's not true. If they're, if, well, they you technically are. You got box are. seats one time. No, they technically are. Oh, our Phillies seats? Yeah. Oh. That's not box seats. Well, they're in the air, so. We have seats not all boxes on are the 400 the level, which is the highest yeah, seats. Yeah, that's, those are box They seats. are pretty nice because they're like mind. right behind home plate so we view the whole field but there's a reason they're called the nosebleeds well you know i think i think that uh i'll bring some extra tissues i'm gonna definitely catch a uh 
a pop fly. If a foul ball There's gets a chance. If a foul ball gets up there, it's possible. Really? Has it ever that's, happened? We well, might only have like one shot. It's not well, as well. It's high enough that it'll be over the net. Yeah, but it's also really high. It would have to, to be, be a, a crushed foul ball. Which it's, it's possible. It's highly yeah. possible. It's not impossible. It's highly possible. That it's, means there's a seventy five percent chance. Okay. No. It's possible that a foul ball will come our way, but it's not as likely as a lot of other places. It's in not the as possible as the Phillies game that me and Owen went to, and we still didn't get a foul ball. We yeah. were like we down were, the third we baseline. Were in perfect foul ball territory. Yeah. So your streak of getting foul balls might be in danger. It, it might. Are be. we gonna go early enough to go to batting practice? Oh, we probably should. Yeah. yeah. We, I, what's, what's I like that? going to batting practice. Is that when we see... You oh, go to batting practice like, and you stand, like the All -Star game you stand near the outfield and yell at players to throw you a ball. Really? Yeah. Not yell at them, but like you yell asking for a ball politely. Uh, that's how I've got... I've only gotten one ball at a major league game, and that was how I got it. Batting I got practice. three in one Wait, game. Wait, what did you say? Do you say, sir, can I please have a ball? Uh, no, there's always just... Kind of, I was in left field, and there's just like a group of people like yelling like, here, here, throw it here. And the guy looked at me and threw it, and I caught it over a kid who was like eight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, no, no, he was pretty clearly throwing it to me though. Like the other kid yeah. wasn't there, and he like ran over to me, and I was like, no, no, no. This guy was throwing it to me. I think I, remember, I was like twelve. I remember I had I went to a Red Sox Orioles game one time with my uncle, and because he's a Red Sox fan, and they mm -hmm. were playing in Baltimore, so he's like, oh, why don't we go to the game? Not much of a trip, yeah. Yeah, and um, I got three balls that game. Wow. I was uh, we batting practice, practice or in game? No, I've, in never, game, in I've game. never gotten one in game. It I just had batting game. practice. I we were two seats back, two seats behind the Red Sox dugout. Oh, prime foul ball spot. Oh and, yeah, prime. And that's so like, that's like any time right that the there, inning was over, the line, I'd run nice up to the I run up to the wall <laughs> and ask whoever was coming in the player who had the oh, ball to come in. And yeah. so I got like three balls, and then nice. my uncle made me stop to let some other kids get balls. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably fair. <laughs> Did you get them signed, though? They were not signed. I have no. one signed That's by difficult. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Bought it off of eBay. Resold it. Made 50 bucks on it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's all <laughs> fake. Yeah. All right. We should try that, though. If one of us gets a ball, you, you know, can FDR also... was a president, not a baseball player, yeah. right? But I figured oh. maybe he, like, threw out a first pitch and then signed probably. it. Didn't he like baseball? Yeah. I don't know. That's random. We should bring a ball. I have, like, a... You have baseballs, I have baseballs. I have we a, should try to get a signature. I have one that's, that's signed by, like, every player on some team. Wow. I can show it to you. It's I don't know what team it is or what year. It's either the Barnstormers or the Phillies. Uh, I don't know which I one. I have a Phillies ball that was signed by all the players. Yeah. Yeah. So, as most of you guys know, last week, Parker and Luke did their solo episode. They're both staring at me right now, which is weird. Um, we're going to kind of recap it very quickly. First, I want to get your thoughts on how you just oh, your I, experience and whatnot and then i'll give the listeners perspective i thought i was amazing mm -hmm. obviously i killed it right i think i think the best part. part of that episode was owen not being there wow <laughs> wow that was very mean nice. just kidding <laughs> owen. Wow. no i have to, to go i have to go fair. with marvel monday yeah marvel yeah. monday was killer well, I'm just glad we got to have 13 minutes of it instead of negative five seconds. <laughs> mm. I no negative five seconds. Well, I give you guys uh, like a solid minute. Uninterrupted un time. Un well, uninterrupted. Yeah, that's fair. Uninterrupted 13 minutes. I love minutes. interrupting Marvel Mondays. It's the best. <laughs> but the problem was mm, no. This episode, although the first 13 minutes, like they said, were Marvel Monday, came out on a. Thursday. Okay, that is not my so, fault. So, was it really a true Marvel Monday yeah. when the episode that's supposed to come out on Monday It was a thorough comes Marvel out Thursday. On a Thursday. It was a thorough Marvel Thursday. You didn't say that in the episode. A thorough yeah, Thursday. Yeah, that's because it was planned to come out on Monday, but I would yes. neglected to give me the password to our YouTube. No, no, no. You asked me for that on Tuesday <laughs> which before was you close, left for work. Which was <laughs> closer to Monday than Thursday. <laughs> But then, since we didn't remember the password to our YouTube, we had to change it. Well, I did remember the password, and then the password didn't work. Yeah. Because that was the password. Yeah, I know. I remember when you were setting we it. We did set that up. I yeah. don't know what happened, but... Anyway. It is hilarious that anyway. Luke, Luke and... I think just Luke, Luke called me on Saturday after they'd recorded yes. the episode, and he was like, we had some technical difficulties, basically. <laughs> I was like, well, okay, that sounds hilarious, but at least the episode will be out in time. And then more technical difficulties happen, because they always do. Um, yeah. But it's... I, first of all, I think you need to get your computer replaced, because your iMovie storage is... Well, no, it's back down... The to, strangest thing no, ever. Yeah, but no, listen. Listen to after... 
like whatever. I haven't deleted anything off my computer yet, but iMovie mm. Library is only taking up three gigs, and I have sixty gigs of free. Space it went left. from three gigs <laughs> to like seventy. <laughs> I have to yeah. none. Yeah, and basically. I have like 60 free gigs. I don't now, understand like, it. Okay, I don't have any problem with my laptop. It makes no sense. It wouldn't export because he, it was full. But and it then really it wasn't dropped full. again. I don't know. I, it was confusing. My, we might, for Luke, Luke for Christmas, we might have to get him a new laptop. That's really? very expensive. No, really? Not really. <laughs> Aww. No. Uh, so, what was your experience with, like, obviously during the episode, you guys killed it, but, like, what exactly went wrong? Parker's phone. Shut down. So or pretty like, much, it just how it. Uh, like, I, I don't even know what happened. It kept turning off and stopping yeah, the recording randomly. Yeah, huh. just, it wasn't running out of storage. It just randomly stopped. Yeah, so we strange. switched over to my phone. That's what you get when you still have an iPhone eight, and mm. now the battery dies. Well, I have an iPhone eight like, as well. Mine, my battery is dying bad. like insane. It's yeah. it's terrible. That's true. Um, last question where did you get that light from at the beginning of the episode oh i found it in parker in the in the uh bonus room oh, and i'm like there yeah. and i'm like oh this will make great for the first part of the episode wow. it that didn't that wasn't in the original plan i but didn't even know we were doing marvel monday until just we, went with it yep that's fair yeah i was just i t- the organization I, was kind of tough without owen well i guess that makes Owen's sense. You, did, at, you Owen's put stuff good. in the Google Doc. Yeah, I did. So, Owen's good at making transitions. That. Owen's good at that. keeping things flowing. I feel like I was bad at that. No, you were, I mean, having not really had to carry it before, you did pretty good. My favorite transition was when you guys went, in a span of 10 seconds, <laughs> Parker, first of all, Parker claimed that the Tom Brady effect was his idea. When I've seen that on social media for the last, like, week, <laughs> Parker was like, I've come up with the Tom Brady <laughs> yeah. effect. He was like, TBA, or yeah, the TBE, Tom Brady effect. And then two seconds later, we're talking about Loki and like TVA. <laughs> Val, and I was like, Val, what just happened? Upside down. Yes. It was so confusing. Timekeeper. Other than that, the transitions were good. I was very, it didn't, that part didn't make much sense. But that part you know. was the only one that made sense. Yeah, that was the okay. best part. I did enjoy the uh, the theories were fun. I liked how you both picked Conor McGregor to win, and he <laughs> lost in the first round. <laughs> Broke his leg. It's not my fault. Um, I cool. forgot Dustin. Parker pronounced Poirier correctly, but didn't pronounce Dustin. Thunder's really loud. I think there was just like a lightning strike wow, right on top of us. that was definitely thunder. Tornado. Super they loud. In the basement. Well, I wonder if you guys can hear that. But yeah, that thunder was super loud. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I I personally enjoyed the episode very much. I was sad when it was done, which is how you know it's good. When you're like, oh man, that's it. So mm-hmm. I even enjoy, I went back guys. and watched it. I even enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. Well, sometimes sometimes like I'm in the car and I'm just listening to it and I'm just like I I'm just like smiling at it and that's how I know that it's good because that's I'm like true. laughing. You can't <laughs> help but smile. Comment we, we if you guys can't help but smile. Please comment and let uh, us know. Comment a smiling emoji. That'll yeah. make it even better. Or just leave a review, five star review, and just a smiley face. No yeah. actual review of the podcast. Just, just a smiley face. That's, that's it. Fine. We'll take that too. Yeah. So we got really off topic there. Yeah, we did. Um. So we've got another new segment this week to wrap up this episode. It's called sports reviews. I don't know if we can come up with a more creative name for it, but basically the way it works is, I'm sure all of you have seen online reviews of products, right? You go to buy something, like on Amazon, and you scroll down to see what the reviews are. Mm -hmm. So you guys know the general format. You read the reviews on the Yodeling Pickle a couple weeks ago. (laughs) Exactly. Stuff like that. So I'll do the first version. Um, Basically, we are going to be writing reviews for teams. Okay. Since the basketball season is over, I... I'm going to be writing my review on the Brooklyn Nets. It doesn't fit. Well, that's when you just you edit the font size here. There we go. <laughs> and so this is I'm gonna read what Went I'm from 142 to 140. I'm gonna read what I'm writing, but I'll also put up the picture of this maybe on the episode, definitely on Instagram, um, so you guys can see my review of the Brooklyn Nets. Okay. So instead of writing it like a regular uh, analysis of the team, you have to write it like the Brooklyn Nets are a product you bought online. Well, I'm doing the Nets. You have to write (laughs) it like the team is a product you bought online. Okay. Just like a review you would read on the internet. So So we bought the Brooklyn Nets, and our dream came true to own an NBA team. Yeah, right. So I (laughs) am going to give the Nets um, four stars. Four stars for the Brooklyn Nets. So we're going to say... Um, very entertaining product. Okay. Offense, 
was as advertised. Well, defense kind of was not great. Uh -huh. Um, not durable. A dur that's literally what I was about to write. <laughs> not a durable product did not go as far as expected. Make sure you have insurance before, <laughs> before buying. Would recommend a it, warranty insurance. plan. Buying warranty plan. Man, you guys are helping me write this. This is easier than I thought. Um, despite this, would probably buy it again next year. Would probably but. Probably, probably, probably buy, buy it probably, again probably next probably year. Buy. And then we have to adjust that font size because, again, it's too big. But do you guys get the idea? Yes. Okay. So, um, I right. forget how you screenshot on Command a Command Shift computer. 4. Thank you. Well, Command Shift 3 does the whole screen. Command Shift 4 allows you to... Yeah, I just want this. A little section of it. How do you know that? Oh, Thanks, I, Luke. I figured out that on Google Sheets, if you do Control F, you can search for anything that you want. Like You, you didn't know Or you can go to Google. I had to look that up. No. I was like, how do I... I had a list of, like, names, right? And there was way too many people. I was like, oh. there's no way I'm going to find this Stacy person. Like, <laughs> And then and I scrolled through them. I couldn't find it. And then I, and then I looked up how to do that. And I was like, wow. Oh. This... And he felt so smart. All right, who wants to go next? Do, me, me. Do you have a team in mind? No, you have to pick it for me. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah. Um, sure. All right, Parker, your team to... Review um, first. Make sure to select your um, how many stars you give them by oh, turning and do your some of the stars run on white. Diesel? No. Okay, so how do my diesel on the side? Because that's the brand that made the glasses. All right, what team am I doing? All right, um, Parker is going to be reviewing the Los Angeles Clippers. Hmm. You could just probably put L.A. Clippers so that it fits. Yeah. Or else you could. Los Parker, Angeles. Los Angeles Los Clippers. <laughs> You spelled it. Okay. That's actually a really good way to roast the Los Angeles Clippers. <laughs> Spell Los Angeles L O S S. Los Angeles Los. Angel Los. Sounds like a lipstick brand. There you go. Okay. Los, Los Angeles Clippers. Los Angeles. And out of five stars, Parker is going to give them. How do you make half stars? You can't do that. It's either one, two, well, three, or Why'd you just shrink the star size? Why did you do Command that? Command Z. Command Z. Command yeah. Z. Oh, we'll resize it. What are you doing, Parker? How'd you mess this up already? <laughs> I'm trying to write. Oh, my word. All right, now we got to go back. This isn't Word. This is Strava. Okay, whatever. What is this is Canva. 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 Yeah. Canva. Okay, okay, there you go. Parker's review of the Los stars? Angeles Clippers, he gave four? them four stars. Four stars. Like I did with the Nets. Um, very surprising... I think we all need to work on our typing. It's pretty slow. <laughs> I'm not very good at typing. They didn't really do teach me that. Um, yeah, we didn't really learn typing in school, did we? Um, That's we unfortunate. Don't, we don't have a keyboarding class. But they which, tried to teach us which, how to do like, cursive. Yeah. So. yeah. My mom had a keyboarding class when she was in high school, which Wait. didn't make sense when they didn't really have many computers back the then. But now all we have is computers, and all we can do is type items. essays instead of write them, and they yeah. don't teach us how to type. Makes no sense. So when we have a timed typing essay... What is Parker writing? Very surprising, the best aspects of this Intims got broken and destroyed product. What? Why did you... <laughs> what? did you oh, do? I have a very surprising product. Okay. The best aspects of this item got broken and destroyed. Okay. The... You spelled destroyed destroy your ed. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> this this segment is great. Struggling. The okay. um the parts that weren't cool. What ten percent turned out to He spelled be... turned T E R. <laughs> Parker, were you in the spelling bee? <laughs> yeah, I almost didn't make it. We're awesome. Clearly. He did do pretty well in the spelling bee, though. Fourth the, grade, he finished third. I did, well, I studied so much for that. What about the sixth grade spelling bee? The parts uh, are I think he made it halfway. About where I very was. Probably like fifth round out or something. Interchangeable. Okay, that's that's good. That sounds like a product. The yeah. parts are very interchangeable. Parts. Just Eli like Whitney. Eli, oh. Whitney, and... Oh, nice. 
Good history lesson. Is Eli I think Whitney. it was Eli Guns. Whitney. Yeah. Was it Eli Whitney? I yeah. think it was. And well, no. Eli. Captain no, wait. Eli Whitney didn't do she... interchangeable parts. Oh. That was Henry Ford, right? Oh, was it, it was. Um, no, Henry Ford did mass production. Eli yeah. Whitney did do interchangeable parts. Yeah. I recommend. I think it was a cotton gin. Yeah. yeah it was a cotton gin. Cotton machine, whatever. That. Mm. The playing components. Mm. Components. Yeah, we really need to type. That <laughs> turn. <up. laughs> Combustible. Mm. Yeah, Eli Whitney was interchangeable. There's so that. Well, he wasn't interchangeable. No, <laughs> he was one of kind. Will blow up their adversaries. Mm. This is a long review. And <laughs> other players to light. This is so long. The league. Is there a period anywhere? No. <laughs> Fire. There's also a significant lack of spaces. Um, okay, so let me just let me read this. Recommended that. So that you guys can uh, understand it, because Parker kind of wrote a lot. Very surprising product. The best aspects of this item got broken and destroyed. The parts that weren't cool turned out to be awesome. The parts that are very interchangeable, just like Eli Whitney is cotton and his guns and cotton machine. Wait. <laughs> The part, you wrote a sentence that said, the parts are very interchange. oh, very, that's what I forgot. The parts are very interchangeable, like Eli Whitney and his cotton guns, and cotton machine. I recommend that their, T-H-E-R, -E <laughs> playing that. components turn combustible so that they will blow up their adversaries and other players to light the league fur. <laughs> so, that was Parker's. <laughs> Um, let's screenshot that to put on Instagram forever. Oh, yes. Now, we'll wrap up with Luke, what team and what product, or what team and how will you be well, you reviewing gotta give me a them? Team. Yeah, I, what, I, why do I have to give you guys teams? I thought you were, that makes it more fun. I'll give you a team. I thought you were just no, gonna, I'll like, give come up with I'll one on your own. Team. I'll give him a team. All right. Well, you have Parker. Um, the Sacramento Kings. Can you give me, like, a baseball <laughs> team or something? <laughs> I want to see what Luke writes for this. Oh, Because wow. he probably has no clue. The Sacramento there. Kings? That's so messed up, Parker. <laughs> I have no clue. He's still, he knows I nothing have, about the zero. Sacramento Kings. I have literally Jeez. zero clue. That was the worst thing Parker could have done to you. All right, Luke, how many stars do you give the Sacramento oh, Kings? Oh, I'm actually doing the Sacramento Kings. Right, oh, you yeah. Can, you can choose the Sacramento Kings or the Denver Nuggets. To the Kings. <laughs> I think Luke has... Uh, I think Luke and I are tied for best typing. We're, I'd say Luke and I are pretty similar. I think we can all agree who's the worst typist. It's not me. <clears throat> it's definitely Luke, right? Okay, yep. All right, how many stars are you giving the Sacramento Kings, Luke? They deserve three stars. They three stars. Four. I'd say that's, actually, that's pretty good for the Sacramento Kings. Too many. Three stars is generous. It is very generous. Yeah. Very generous for the Sacramento Kings. All right. Generous. This is going to be really difficult for Luke because he doesn't know enough about the Kings. Okay. All right. So Luke is keeping his review a secret. I'm so hungry. He says we can't read it until he's done. So I hope it's not very long because otherwise I'm just going to have to keep filibustering <laughs> until he finishes because if oh, I stop talking, it's just going to be silence. Thing. Did you know in the White House they read um, like green hat, red cat, blue fish, two fish or something? What book is that? <laughs> It's by like the one Dr. fish, blue C fish, red fish, two fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or as Parker likes to call it, red hat, green cat. <laughs> I don't you know, know that book. Doctor Seuss has me all conjumbled in my brain sometimes. This is very confusing. Mm -hmm. But that's a political filibuster. I'm just you do kind of do the same thing where you just like talk to fill time. I was talking to fill time so that Luke could finish this thing, but he's still typing. It's a very long review. Um. um did I'm you know up. that when the first person invented typing, it was it was crazy because before because that nobody else could type. Well, no, they didn't even have anything. They just typed on like they used their fingernails. Writing. No, they used their fingernails onto the paper, like they just like this one was was A, this one was B, this was C. I don't. I think they wrote. No. And then they I typed. I saw an article. I saw an article. It's all related. It's, it's the multiverse. Okay. 
I think that's gonna be your new. That's gonna be your new thing. Well, Anytime did you, you watch get boxed into a you corner gotta... on an argument, like, well, I'm not wrong because it's the multiverse. You gotta watch Loki. What an out. You gotta watch Loki. Oh my word. If you think that it's okay, here's the thing. You gotta like watch all the movies now. Oh, I know. You've been telling me this. It's for gonna six get months. so much more confusing though. You've been telling me this for six. Like, months. I'm starting to get. It's not confused. possible for it to get more confusing. It is. It is. Great. <laughs> so you're saying if you're not confused now, just wait. Well, that's why you have to watch them now, so that you don't get even more and more confused. What if I just don't watch it at all, and I'm just not confused but ever? Like, in 20 years, when you're going to watch, like, the next, like, Avengers Endgame, like, yeah, the next what if what if I'm not, is my question. You would have absolutely no clue what's going on, you know? Yeah. So that's why you gotta watch them all, like... Well, no, now. but my strategy is just don't watch any of them ever, and then I don't have to care <laughs> about the Endgame in 20 years. <laughs> Okay, let's read it. All right, Luke's three-star review of the Sacramento Kings. I had high hopes for this product going into the season, but then the actual season started. The product arrived, and it was smaller than expected, and then it didn't start. I returned it to get a new one, and this one started, but it malfunctioned quite quickly. Then for the remainder of the time I had this product, it just got worse and worse until it finally caught fire and burnt down my house. <laughs> that is the Sacramento Kings if I ever heard about them. But still, that was great. <laughs> that was a one, that was a negative star review. Yeah. <laughs> that was a three star. How could it have been worse and turned into a two star? <laughs> I don't I, yeah, if it didn't burn your house down the first time? I think the stars need to go farther back. I don't think I gave it a proper star for the writing. Zero star. I, I, it's not possible to give something zero stars, like, actually online, right? Uh, I think that's I try. too embarrassing, <laughs> but don't give a... Oh, my word, Luke. That was a great review for not knowing anything about the Sacramento Kings. Yeah. I enjoyed that. The only good thing about them is Buddy, and he's from the movie Elf, so... They have a player named Buddy Heald who's really good. But yeah, that's shark about shooter. It. They also had um, Halle Berger. He was decent. Is, they have a rookie, Tyrese Halliburton, <laughs> who's really good. Owens like the. Translator. I think he was on Parker's fantasy team. That's another. <laughs> that's that's another segment. The sports hey, translator. The but basketball fantasy didn't count since there was since I won because Parker lost. No, nope. no, I won. Hey. Oh, oh you no, did. you did. Wait, I know. which of us won? I don't remember. See, that's why it doesn't count. <laughs> Is it just because Parker lost no, in fantasy but, basketball, it doesn't well, if count. Well, if we have money on the line, and then, you know, you're all going down. Okay. Well, also, Luke's fantasy baseball team went down for the first time. I, I beat know. him by three points. Sad. Three points. You're still, I haven't checked my lineup in... You're still 13-1, and one, though, so I think you're in a pretty good spot. I haven't checked my lineup in quite a while. Well, J.G. Grable Plumbing, small family owned and operated company, 717-768-3276. Speaking of reviews... Or visit their website at www.jggrable.com. Yeah, nice. Speaking of reviews, I'd say we would all give J.G. Graybill a 5 out of 5. No. We 5 won't. stars for J.G. Graybill. What, would you give them 6 out of 5? No. How many stars would you give J.G. Graybill? It's the multiverse. We give them 5,000 out of 5. <laughs> sure. There's an infinite number of multiverses. Yes, yeah, so there's mm. an infinite Sigh. number of stars. There's an infinite mm. number of Octopi? Us. Cacti? I want to see a boastful Parker. <laughs> a courageous Parker. Mm. I want to see... A King Parker. A female Parker. <laughs> <laughs> a Pilvy. That's a strange. <laughs> like Parker. Yeah, but Sylvie. Yeah. But Loki did it. It wasn't Lil V. Oh, you're right. It would have to be Sarker. Sarker. <laughs> soccer. Does she play soccer? I don't think so. We haven't Sarker seen the that. soccer player. Okay. I would really like to see how... It'd be an interesting <gasps> thing to see how Luke would interact with a female Parker, having interacted with a male Parker for so long. <laughs> It'd be interesting. Um, so what do you say we do like a really quick five-star review of J.G. Graybill? I already yeah. did. Well, Parker, no, you just said 5,000 stars out of five. So yeah, 717. I don't. 768, nah. 3276. All right. So Goodbye. Team, J.G. Graybill, review... Their awesome. plumbing is amazing. Quality workmanship really does still exist. Yes, it does. Go to their website, www.jggraybuild.com. Affordable with that $25. Call them at 717-768-3276. Parker got mad at me for getting that wrong like three weeks ago. Yeah, because nailed it that we've been time. doing this for 100 weeks now. We have been doing this for a really long time. <laughs> you would think. Maybe not 100 weeks, but... We're on, we're on episode, episode 109. 109. Yeah, but I don't think they were our sponsor at uh, episode 9, were they? It's been a while. Yeah, I would guess maybe Go like back and 70. listen to episode 9. 
Okay, you do that after we're done recording, because I don't think people want to listen to episode 9 at the end of episode 109. That seems a bit excessive. But when you contact J.G. Graybill for any plumbing services and mention that All Sports All the Time sent you, you'll get $25 off of your purchase, and that $25 can buy you... A magnet for your phone. We're really running out of ideas, man. Speaking of doing this for 70 weeks. <laughs> oh, you know what You know what Luke just bought for his car? Oh, yeah, I'll have to show you. What? It's awesome. What should, should we so, the camera? You could just, like, say it and well, then show, show me later. Or, like, okay, well, that's really going to work well in the podcast. Do I have to, like, describe what it is? Oh, I'll describe what it is. Okay. I bought this little Iron Man helmet thing. Oh, my word. That goes over my push Such start button. And then I push it up. Such a nerd. <laughs> wow. First of all, your car has a start button. You don't turn the key to turn it on. Lame. Yeah, that, that's, what, that's like my car. That's how they're going nowadays. Lame. And second, you really... Uh, okay. That it's is such it, a good investment. It's cool, oh, but you at know the what same I bought time, the other Parker, buy... Can I see your keys real quickly? You know what I bought the other night? So you know this brand... You know this brand. I'm pretty sure the phone's about to run out of battery, so you might want to hurry up okay. with this story. So this is brand, and they have a crocodile on their nice shirts, right? Crocs. No, no, no. Lacoste. It's like, yeah, Lacoste. I used yeah. to have Lacoste glasses. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so I bought a shirt, and it's it's got the Loki horns all with an alligator on it for, for crocodile Loki. Mm. Okay, that's better than the helmet thing, at least. So. <laughs> all right, episode 108. Let's end it on that. Adios. Woo! <laughs>